A big night at one of the most famous venues in world football. We're here at the San Siro. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company in the commentary box today is, of course, Stuart Robson. And now things get really exciting on the UEFA Champions League front. We're at the semi-final stage, and what we have coming up is the first leg. It's Milan up against Inter. Well, Derek, it could be cagey and it could be tight, but we've got some of the best players on view here, and they'll want to show just how good they really are. I can't wait for this tie to start. And here's how Milan will line up. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Davide Calabria plays with Theo Hernandez in the wide defensive areas. Ismael Benasser plays alongside Sandro Tonali in central midfield. And leading the line today, Olivier Giroud. Inter starting lineup. Alessandro Bastoni plays with Francesco Acerbi in central defence. Henrik Mikitarian starts alongside Nicolo Barella in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today, Lautaro Martinez plays alongside Romelu Lukaku. And underway now in this Champions League semi-final first leg. Chalanolu. Lukaku. Martinez. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Sandro Tonali. Brahim Diaz now. Tonali with it. Physically strong and secure on the ball. Fluency of movement. Leal. Tonali with it. Very comfortable when in possession. Brahim Diaz Calabria Benacer no, High quality defending well, So many reasons to highlight Lautaro Martinez Not least because he can be so effective Stuart, what do you think we might see from him in this game? Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. And he read it well defensively. Now, what can Inter do from this position? Well, disappointing end to the move. Ben Asser. Rafael Leao and return to Giroud. Leao and a long way out. Oh, good save. And how about the short corner? He's got to score! Oh, the referee has given it. Penalty it is. This to make it 1 0. And the keeper denies them from the spot. <laughs> oh, 
They favoured a short one here. Diaz. Leal. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Ficayo Tomori. Tonali with it. Oh, do they mean business on this occasion? Oh, could be! And a goal! The opener in the semi-final! First goal of the contest! Well, here it is again. And the way they've been playing, that was always going to happen. They've certainly been piling on the pressure here. restart the game it's going to be interesting to see how they reply to that setback excellent refereeing advantage in operation Barella Chalanolu Barella and reading it absolutely superbly Continues his run. Ben Asser. Opportunity here. And it's gone in. Just what the doctor ordered. Things looking very bright for them now with this buffer. Well, it's great awareness of space in the box. And then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Dumfries. Danmian. And unable to keep possession. Rade Krunic. Mikitarian. Federico Di Marco. And Inter might be able to cash in here. He's in with a chance. A goal! Just what they need. Still plenty of life in this match. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. go again here and Inter are giving this a real go Rade Krunic Martinez Di Marco will he play it in well that takes the wind out of their sails great defending being pressed here. Olivier Giroud. Sandro Tonali. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Giroud. Splendid defending, and it needed to be.
Chalanolu. Di Marco. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Chalanolu. And very deftly cut out. Diaz. Could cross it in here. Well, not quite the cross he was hoping for. So two minutes of stoppage time here. Martinez. Well, the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at the San Siro. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Yeah, he's played pretty well, to be fair. He's looked confident and assured on the ball, but he's going to need a helping hand if they are to turn this around in the second half. Second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. Grunic. Straight offside, but only just. And time for the change now. Alessandro Bastoni Brozovic Mikitarian Chance to play it in Well, still an issue here Brahim Getting in there to intercept Mkhitaryan Martinez Well they want that equaliser but the passing remains smooth Henrik Mkhitaryan Still a chance Danger averted for now Radek Krunic In the right place to cut out the pass Leao Benacer Watered by the post. Well, they won't come much closer than that. It's a matter of inches from being a really good goal. Sustained pressure and they have the ball now. How can he take them on and beat them? And space to cross it. Grunic. Making sure it didn't get past him. And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. Here it is now. A substitution. Well, no way to put a positive spin on that one. Disappointing. Well, I don't think he'll be on the next free kick, will he? That wasn't good at all. to alter things here's the substitution Brozovic on the ball Bastoni good tackle it'll be a throw and they will make the change now. Well, 
Mikitarian. Switching from gear to gear as he runs. Mikitarian. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Olivier Giroud. Messias. Very quick thinking there. Surely! And he scored not once but twice. They simply cannot stop it. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So on with the action. And 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Mkhitaryan, the ball with Martinez, Barella, they've regained possession, Teo Hernandez, it's with Giroud, Henrik Mkhitaryan, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Dumfries. It needs an accurate cross. Well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Sandro Tonali. Well read to put an end to that attack. Could be a chance to break here. Martinez. Well, it could be on for him here. And they produce the arrears. You never know. They still believe in themselves. Well, just look at how poor the defending is here. But I have to say, it's still a very tidy finish. He looked really assured there. Well, neutrals are getting their money's worth. 3-2 in this match. Well, Milan are nearly there, and their fans know it. Just listen to the support they're giving their team. Not long left now. It's a good-looking ball in behind. Martinez. Well, flinging himself at it. Well, this left corner could represent their last chance to equalise. Let's see about the delivery. Well, the goalkeeper made it look as though there was no pressure on him whatsoever. Rafael Leao. Messias. And Santa Marcos has it. And possession lost, intercepted. A deft clearance. Well, the outcome is a free kick here. Chalanolu. Time and the score line against Inter, but they're not out of this. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Messias. Davide Calabria. Rafael Leao. And a fine cross. Will it happen for him here? 
He's given us away. That's strong play as he keeps the ball in anticipation of support arriving. Barella. And he might be through here. Terrific save. Well, that will do it. The referee blows for full time. And Milan on the side, sitting in the box seat at the moment anyway. But remember, there's a return match still to be played. Well, at this stage of the tournament, you'd take any lead going into that second leg. I tell you what, though, this tie is far from over. Very little to split between the two sides, and it's set up perfectly for round two. Well, it just seems that this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, he did everything today. His energy, skill and movement was just too good for those defenders. It was a really good display.